Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Game 31 In today's episode, we're going to focus on uh, a review on the Nintendo M82 store display system. Now, before I dive into that really rare system, I'm really excited to show you, by the way, uh, I do want to just touch base about its brother here, the PlayChoice 10. I did a review on this arcade when I first picked it up a little while back. But in case you guys didn't see that and you guys don't know what this arcade is, it's just another way that Nintendo used to kind of help market the Nintendo games back in the day. This particular arcade came out in 1986. It's basically a uh, conversion of the two uh, screen punch out games, which is kind of cool. And it does hold up to 10 games, hence the PlayChoice 10. So it's a little different than the Versus arcades, which you might be familiar with by what Nintendo also made. Uh, but the games look like this. I own about 21 of them. This is Double Dragon, and it's a PCB board, and it, obviously it's a lot different than Nintendo carts. You can't just plug in Nintendo carts in this thing. And there's like a time limit as well that you can play with. So the whole idea of Nintendo released this thing back in their case, hoping that kids could play, spend a quarter and just demo games out, which is cool. I'm going to show you how this works. I don't want to talk too much about this arcade because I did a review on it earlier, but I just want to show you in case you didn't see that review. Uh, let's do uh, Channel Select. This is a classic one right here. You'll enter. And this is a Nintendo Punch-Out for Nintendo, which is cool. Now, you also might recognize this arcade from making this, uh, an appearance in the movie The Wizard with Fred Savage, which is cool. Uh, but it's a very cool arcade, but I'm going to show you something really cool as well. Let's take a closer look at the Nintendo M82. Okay guys, so here's a closer look at the Nintendo M82. This is a store display system that was only available in stores, never sold to the general public, which is cool. Uh, so it's a huge collector's item. As of making this video, there's two on eBay, and that I see currently. There's one open like this in this condition, and sell for twenty five hundred. Okay, the other one is in box and sell for nine grand. So <laughs> there's a huge difference in price there, but there's a huge demand for these as well. Uh, what you got here is a, it's a store display unit which was available in department stores. I remember growing up going to the mall by my house, and there was a Nintendo store. I don't know if you guys remember Nintendo stores, but they had a bunch of these on display. So you can go there, test these games out before you buy them. You can hold up to 12 games. And these are windows right here. And what's cool about this particular unit is it takes normal Nintendo carts, which is really neat. Uh, now, the Model 8, M8, which was released right before this, you ha could hold up to 15 games, but they weren't interchangeable and it wasn't displayed as well. Uh, but th this is a nice window. You can see what games are in here. These are just 12 random games I put in here. Some of the ones that I play the most I got Tetris in there, Techno Super Roll, uh, NES Open Golf, uh, Bubble Bobble. So, Adventure Island, some of the games that I tend to play the most I have in here. Um, these are where the controllers lie right there. It also, you can hook up a, um, a, a gun as well. This is a, a display, so it says right here, it says uh, press and hold game select button until desired number appears. So you can hook there four or five, six. And as you, I don't have it hooked up to a TV at the moment, but because of sound, but I'll show you in a minute on uh, some gameplay of this thing as well, this thing in action. Uh, there was uh, N Nintendo in Japan released uh, Famicom box, which I did a review over the Super Famicom box, but the Famicom box is also kind of a display unit. It was available in stores and hotels, and it's fairly rare as well. But you couldn't hook up normal Famicom games to it. You could, it had special unique carts. So this is very cool that you could hook up normal games to it. Let's open the inside of this thing and see how this thing hooks up. Okay, so here's what the thing looks like when you take the games out. It's pretty empty. This thing I see, there's uh, screws on the side here. And if you take the screws off, the whole purpose of it was essentially they didn't want you to take any games. So there are screws, so it's kind of annoying. You have to, this thing basically slides out like so. Be pretty careful of this thing. And here's what the inside looks like. You have this cable connecting cord here. There's controllers. There's actually five controller outlets. So you can hook up the two controllers. You can do a light gun and different accessories, which is cool. And these are the 12 slots for the games. And pretty much these games just plug in very nicely. There's, a, there's a room for every one of them. And it plugs in, it snaps in like that. So you hook up to 12 games at a time. Uh, let's check out the back of this thing, okay? Here's what the back of the M82 looks like. You got your, your number, your serial number, I think that's what it is, 14,334, okay? You've got your um, AV out right here, audio and video, which is it's mono sound. I like Nintendo's back in the day, there's no stereo. Uh, you got your channel switch three to four, RF out, which is interesting, it's not a screw, it's different. And you get the time, you can set switch here where you can do either 30 seconds, 3 minutes, 6 minutes, or 128 minutes of gameplay. This particular unit is set to 128 minutes, but the whole idea is you can switch. Um, and then you get your on off switch as well, power switch. Uh, this, this is a service number to call. I actually called the number and it's still up and going. It still works for Nintendo. So uh, that number is still active. It's interesting. But let's check out some uh, gameplay on this thing. Okay, guys, so we're going to power this bad boy on. 
turn the switch on in the back. You get this really cool music intro screen here. To the entertainment system. This kind of tells you what to do here. You're going to push uh, number one. You got RC program. Blaze of steel. Bow bobble. Got a battle toads. Kirby. This open. This is a really good game. Actually. I really like this open. Ducktales. Can't play Nintendo without Ducktales for sure. This is uh, Tetris right here. Tetris Super Bowl. Turtles Arcade. Adventure Island. And this plays normal. So, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. And stay classy, YouTube. Take care. Bye bye.